guys, today we're going to be talking about pet insurance. I get a lot of questions about pet insurance at work and also online, so I wanted to make this video to address all of the questions. For those of you that don't normally watch my videos and have no idea who I am, I do work at a veterinary clinic. I have worked in a veterinary clinic for eight years now, and I am in school to receive my veterinary nursing degree or veterinary technology degree. I also just went through the process of treating my dog Katie for cancer, and I just want to share my opinions about it. Before we get started with this video, I do want to say a disclaimer. These are my personal opinions from my personal experiences. I personally do use nationwide pet insurance. There are a bunch of different ones out there. So with that being said, let's get into this video. There are so many different pet insurance companies out there and it is definitely hard to choose the right one for you. Like I said, I do use nationwide pet insurance because when I was doing my research, that's the one that fit me personally and that is the one that I thought got the most bang for my buck and I have really been happy with my decision with Nationwide Pet Insurance. Also another disclaimer, Nationwide has no idea who I am. I am not paid by them. I do not make any money from this video. Just gonna put that out there. I think it's important when you're choosing a company to do your research and see what company works best for you and your budget and your pet. How does pet insurance work? Well, let me just tell you, I have my cat Kovu who is almost eight years old and then I just recently got a new puppy. He is currently three months old. The younger the pet is, the cheaper the insurance is. But I'll get into how much all that costs in the next question. So I pay a monthly set fee every single month for both my dog and cat. Let's say I go to the vet and I spend $500. I do have to pay that $500 up front out of my own pocket and then the insurance reimburses me later. For nationwide, it usually takes about a month, maybe two months depending on if they're super swamped. Now when it comes to how much money do I get back off my $500, I get 90% back. So of that $500 that I spent, I got $450 back. Okay, so how much does pet insurance cost? It honestly depends. <laughs> so you can go online and get a free quote for the insurance company. I will have the nationwide link in the description box if you're curious and you want to see how much it costs, but it depends on a lot of different things. It depends on how old your pet is, if they have any pre-existing conditions, where you're located, and what breed of animal you have. So for instance, my cat Kovu, who is almost eight years old, I signed him up for pet insurance when he was four years old because that's when I learned about pet insurance. I wish I would have done it when he was a kitten because it would have been a lot less expensive. So for him, I pay $50 a month. He has a $100 deductible. He also does have pre-existing conditions. The big thing to understand about insurance is that if your cat comes to the vet and they diagnose him with a broken leg and then you decide to get insurance after it's already been diagnosed, the insurance is not going to cover that. That's why it is so important to get your pet pet insurance while they're a puppy or a kitten before they develop any pre-existing conditions because then the insurance will pay for it. <laughs> My cat does have cystitis so any expense that is related to his urinary problems I do pay out of pocket for. However, if he gets sick, his vaccines, his flea and tick prevention, his heartworm prevention, all of those expenses that were not pre-existing the insurance covers and I do not regret the decision for signing him up at four years old because the older he has gotten the more things are starting to go wrong and the insurance is covering it. So moving on to the puppy that I just got. His name is Rustin. I got Rustin when he was eight weeks old and the day I got him I signed him up for his pet insurance. Another thing to understand is when you sign up for pet insurance you don't have the insurance activated the next day. It took about two or three weeks for the insurance to be activated. So that's another thing to consider is if your pet is sick and you're like I'm just gonna sign up for insurance and then take him to the vet the next day. That's not how it works. Before the insurance is approved if you take your animal to the vet within that two to three week waiting period that's considered pre-existing the insurance isn't going to cover it. So for Rustin I do pay $45 a month for him and he has a $200 deductible I believe it's $200 or $250 but he's already gotten sick multiple times and the insurance has already been worth it. <laughs> so the reason I have Rustin three month old puppy is because my other dog Katie who was eight years old she just recently passed away like within the past couple months and I did sign her up for the insurance when she was four years old. Because of that I paid $95 
dollars a month for her insurance and I think her deductible was around a hundred dollars I know a lot of you think that I'm crazy for paying $95 a month for my dog and at the time I thought I was crazy too however my dog was diagnosed with histiocytic sarcoma which is a type of cancer it honestly came out of nowhere she got very sick very fast um, took her to the vet did x-rays ultrasounds specialty appointments biopsies all these different kind of medications prescription foods I spent thousands of dollars on her treatment and if I didn't have the pet insurance I would not have been able to afford any of it. I was honestly so grateful for the insurance because I got 90% of my money back which was really nice <laughs> because I wanted to do everything I could to help my dog and I was able to and then I was able to not be financially struggling because I got my money back. Another thing that I thought was really neat is they did actually pay for some of her euthanasia as well which was really nice. So I have my computer here and I'm going to show you how you can sign up and get a free quote. There are a bunch of different variables when it comes to how much you're going to pay for your pet insurance. So it says, where do you live? We'll just put in my Louisiana zip code. Then it's going to ask what kind of pet you have. We'll choose a dog and we'll say it's a mixed breed dog. A small mixed breed dog. I think that's how much Rustin is. Yeah. I'll say Rustin. How old is your pet? He's between zero and 11 months. And we're just gonna put in five family at gmail.com. So there are three different plans you can choose from. There are major medical, which basically covers like emergencies. It says accidents, illnesses, some hereditary conditions, cancers, you can use any vet, specialties, ER. Um, then you have your moderately priced one, which is the whole pet, and it has a list of everything it covers there. I personally have the whole pet with wellness insurance. I like this one because it does cover accidents and illnesses. It also covers like your wellness exams, vaccines, flea and heartworm prevention, your $18, $42 or $70, which is weird because when I signed up for it, the most expensive one that I pay for is $45 a month. I guess it depends on the area. I don't know. So this is the coverage that I have. 90% back on your veterinary bills, no annual reimbursement limit, and a $250 deductible. So that's the plan that I use on all of my animals. You can go online, get a free quote. I hope I answered all of y'all's questions. Um, if I didn't, leave me questions in the description box and I will answer them to the best of my capabilities. I will have the nationwide link in the description. I'll also have their phone number. They are super nice and they always answer. And when you call, you talk to a human, which is really, really nice. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to give me a thumbs up so I know what videos to put out for you guys what y'all are enjoying the most of I love you guys so much remember to stay weird my birch family and I'll see you in my next video bye